Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to share with you guys another watch review. And this watch is made by a company called Neymar. And this is a Rolex uh, C, Deep Sea Sea Dweller inspired homage watch. Okay, um, It's made by the company called Neymar. And Neymar has a, only two watches in their lineup. This particular one, which is available in... Um, let's go ahead and show you guys a little more to keep your attention. It's available in a uh, the one we see here, which is a black face, black bezel, stainless steel, and yellow tone gold. They make it the same execution in the rose tone gold. A blue face, which is the one they originally sent me, and then with a black bezel, and then they make it in also a, let me double check what they have here, a silver black on black and an all black version as well. Um, so let me just show you guys a couple close-up shots here before we talk about the watch. And I already recorded this video, but I had to re-record because I try to keep them under 16 minutes. So here we go. So um, originally when I requested this watch from the company, it was about four months ago. And I kind of thought they were giving me the runaround. Uh, that kept requesting it, requesting it. They said, yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Finally, last week, they sent me the one they told me they were going to send me, which was the all silver stainless steel with the blue face. Now, the only issue I had, and I want to mention this because I'm so impressed with the company and how quickly they handled the problem. Um, like most companies, they use Amazon as a fulfillment center or as a fulfillment company to send out their orders. When you order it, it comes from Amazon. So they actually had that watch come directly from Amazon. When I got it, the bezel was unattached um, or detached. The band was all scratched up. Um, it was very, very unfortunate to see that uh, in the watch. And... You know, it's not their fault. It's something that obviously somebody had probably worn, used, and returned, and it wasn't inspected when it got back to Amazon. So nonetheless, um, Neymar was nice enough to send me one directly from China, express mail. I got it in a couple days, and just their customer service was exceptional. Um, and I want to mention that because one thing you can kind of tell from a company is if you email them and they get right back to you, and especially me as an influencer where I share this stuff with you guys and I, I buy watches and I receive watches and samples, uh, you know, it's in the, a company's best interest to provide a sample to me because I review that watch, I share it, I market it. And for every person that looks at that video, which, you know, is a lot of people viewing you or looking at my videos on YouTube, um, it's something that, you know, they may buy, they may share it with their friends, you know. So it's it's free advertising for the companies with me just sharing my passion with you guys. And so when you have a company who doesn't really get back to you when it's in their best interest, either they're too big or too busy, uh, or they're just not really on the ball. And the reason why I mention that is because Neymar was on the ball. They apologized for the issue. I mean, apologize for something that I didn't even purchase. They were nice enough to sponsor the video and send me that watch. And I just want to thank them for uh, their exceptional service and their exceptional product. I'm very impressed with this watch. Um, before we begin the review, I just want to state one more thing. On a side note, a company I'm not impressed with, and if you're interested in this watch company, um, you know, I reached out to them several months ago, and the company's called Original Grain. And unfortunately, Original Grain said they were going to send me a watch. I emailed them. We had an agreement that they were going to do that. And they wanted to collaborate. And then they dropped off the face of the earth. I emailed them for months. And it wasn't until I actually got a little bit snippy on my email that finally this one gal had said, here, email this person. So I went ahead and emailed them. And he came back and told me that I was my videos didn't have that many views. And that uh, you know I made it sound like I get millions of views. And that they didn't want to collaborate. And so... What was upsetting was the fact that they could have told me that months ago instead of me telling my subscribers that this watch is coming, sharing it with you guys, telling you guys you know that I'm excited to share it with you guys, and only to have the company just turn around and back out, um, and the fact that they didn't even want to have the professional common courtesy to just respond you know months ago and say, hey, we changed our mind maybe at a later date. But no, they just kind of didn't, they just disregarded the email. So that says a lot about a company. If they're not willing to get back to somebody who's going to market their brand, how, are they, how, how good are they going to be about getting back to you when you have a problem? So just something to think about. Uh, as far as Neymar, very impressed, very happy, and uh, let's talk about the watch. So this one here is, it doesn't have a name. They just call it their Neymar Water Resistant 100 ATM Automatic Watch. It's unfortunate they didn't give it a name because it's a beautiful watch. Um, this one here is actually styled off a Rolex Deep Sea uh, Sea Dweller. And it is absolutely beautiful. Now, you guys know I like the big watches for the most part, but I love when I get a watch that appeals to not just myself, but 
uh, you know, because I love all watches of all shapes and sizes, and and you know, although I gravitate more towards the larger style dive watches, um, that's not to say that I don't wear stuff like this on a daily basis. I always rotate my watches, and it's always fun to wear something new. And this watch is absolutely stunning. Um, it is done in a couple different color combinations. You can get it in the all black face in stainless steel. Uh, which they're all 316 stainless steel, but they're all silver non-plated stainless steel with black face, black bezel. You get it in the other one uh, that I received, which is the blue face, blue bezel. Great looking watch as well. You get it in the all black or this particular version with the two-tone yellow gold and stainless or rose tone and stainless. Uh, this is beautiful looking. And this is so beautiful that a lot of times the smaller watches, uh, you know, I wear them to work. They don't always get noticed. But a couple of my coworkers saw us, they were like, new watch? Ooh, that's pretty. You know, like, just immediately noticed it. So uh, I was pretty impressed by that because it's not a huge watch. But one thing I have to say about it is I'm very impressed with how heavy it is for a watch this size. This watch only measures 44 millimeters, which, I mean, only, it's not really small. Uh, for a guy who wears 50 and over, naturally, you get desensitized, so it's a smaller watch. But uh, 44 millimeters, and it weighs 230 grams. That's quite a bit for a watch of this size and a staggering 16 and a half millimeters in case thickness. Normally watches this size are not that thick. Um, the band is made of all, again, all 316 L stainless steel. Uh, you have your dual push button deployment clasp, which is something that I absolutely love. I wish Invicta did more of that. Um, screw down case back with the Neymar logo. On the back it just states professional diver WR1000M. I believe that's the, uh, the model number here and uh, 3,300 3, feet of water resistance. Um, you do have your day of the month indicator and a 120 click unidirectional bezel. For you guys who, who uh, need to hear that, there you go. Who want to compare it to, uh, to your $5,000 Rolex and tell me how it's, uh, it's not as good. Okay, there you go, Rolex knobs. Sorry, had to throw it out there, guys. <laughs> uh, screw, down, um, screw down crown, of course, with the Neymar logo on the side and a helium release valve on the side of the watch. Um, and I believe this watch has solid end links and all solid links across the whole watch. So um, this watch is surprising. You throw this on the wrist and it doesn't feel like it's as small as it is. Uh, one thing I always do is I'll put it on my right wrist and feel, you know, because I'm kind of desensitized. I'm so used to wearing a watch. Everything feels like small. Even wearing a, a big Sea Hunter, I'm just like, oh, yeah, you can feel it. But it's not like, holy cow. But when I put it in the, my right wrist where I never wear a watch, um, it's amazing how heavy this watch is for a watch fit size. Uh, moving on, this is a, is a Seiko NH35 automatic movement, uh, which is also self-winding and you, it's hackable, so you can wind it yourself. Um, excellent watch if you're looking for um, a Rolex-inspired uh, subby. Uh, Sapphire curved crystal. There's a slight curve to it, as you can see. Um, I can't say enough good things about this watch and the company, um, except the fact they should have gave it a name. It's worthy of a name rather than just Neymar. 1000 M diver watch, but nonetheless, uh, that's, it is what it is. Uh, so what else about the watch? Uh, 22 millimeters at the lug, of course. And, uh, on the website, it's funny too, that they don't even, you know, I, I just don't know why companies sometimes just don't put more information. Uh, on the website, it doesn't look like much, to be honest with you. Uh, it tells you helium release valve, of course. Um, let's see here. It said, I'll just read you what it says off their website. Uh, case size, 44 millimeters, strap, 22 millimeters, all stainless steel, professional helium valve at 9H at the 9 hour mark uh, in order to be able to, to lead during external pressure reduction, emerging. Uh, you know, some of the stuff from China, they, the English is not is a little bit of a language barrier there. Central second indicator, date indicator at the 3 hour mark. Japanese automatic movement, they should mention Seiko NH35. That would... You know, when somebody says it's Japanese movement, they don't know who, who makes that movement. When they hear it's got a Seiko NH35, it puts a lot more reliability into the watch. Um, and that's about it. Uh, screwed case back, of course, and high quality metal dive strap, but it is all 316L stainless steel. So let's go ahead and throw it on the wrist. Uh, price on this here can be had for about $389. It's a little cheaper if you go through my eBay links, get it for about $379. And sometimes I've seen this watch as low as $250, depending on where you get it and what kind of sales they're having. Now, I have about a seven inch wrist. I'm about five foot, seven and a half. I weigh about 165 pounds. This gives you an idea of what it looks like at a guy, my size, my height, and my weight. And uh, like I said, I love the fact that you have that 16 and a half millimeters in case thickness. Um, it really feels very, very similar to my Alexander watches, which use that Valjoux 7750. 
Um, when I compare this to a Grand Diver uh, homage watch uh, by Invicta, I have to say that they're both very nice quality watches, but this one here just has a feel to it that the Invicta does not have. But the price point in the Invicta is about $129, $150. This is going to run you upwards of $400. So there is a price difference there, but I will say that this is a fantastic watch if you're in the market for something that is styled after a Rolex and you don't want to spend the money for some of these other brands out there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it from kind of a different angle here. All right, guys, what's well, my initial review of the Neymar uh, Dive Watch? Uh, definitely check it out. I would encourage you to go to their website, but um, you're not really going to see much on there. So I'll put some links where you could probably see some, uh, hopefully I can find some better pictures. I'll try to take some pictures of this where I can link it to my website, uh, where you can see a little bit better uh, images of this here. On the website, they only have one picture. It's like your factory generic picture. Oh, I failed to mention, uh, there is Super Luminova on, uh, called BGW9 on your bezel, of course, and all the markers. Um, it is pretty decent uh, loom. Um, not not as good as the Aqua Dive that I have, but the loom is pretty decent on this. So uh, you're definitely going to have some of that um, luminescence in the, in the dark. So I know when I charged it up with the sunlight, I was actually hanging out laying in bed the other day, and actually you could see it in the bright daylight as well. So uh, pretty good loom, and like I said, nothing but positive things about this watch, and nothing but positive things um, about the company and their customer service. Uh, fantastic. So, all right, well, I'll put links in the description to where you can buy this for the best deal, usually through eBay, of course. I'll put a link to the manufacturer's website where you can go there and read about it if you want. Um, and I will also put links to uh, any kind of pictures I can find where you guys might be able to get a, you know, a better idea of what this looks like and how pretty it is. Um, stay tuned for more video reviews. Uh, just want to give you guys a quick update. This is the next watch I'll be reviewing. Um, or one of the next watches I'll be reviewing. This one here is by a company called Lilenthal Berlin. And this is a German-made dress watch. And I have to tell you, I'm excited to share this one with you guys too. Minimalistic, uh, minimalist uh, style design and uh, just exceptional quality uh, straight from Germany. And they were nice enough to send me this. And I look forward to sharing it with you guys uh, next week. I'm just waiting on a couple more bands because one of the selling features of this watch is the easy change band system that it has. And uh, I think you guys are really going to like it if you're looking for something very, very sleek and very, very simple. And German-made. What you know? What I love about the Germans is that, is that of some of the or some of the watches I've received that are German watches, even though they're Swiss made, they say made in Germany. They're very proud of anything made in Germany. They're like, yeah, we don't care about Swiss made, German made. So that's pretty cool, I think. And I've noticed it on several German watches. So all right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to the channel. Click like. And as always, have a wonderful day, folks. Take care.